Hello everybody. We are looking at the UBTech UKIT Intermediate Robotics. I am more interested in the parts that we code to make things happen, the sensing parts or the, or the output parts, the moving parts, as opposed to the parts that you put together to build um, different things that these would go on. So first we have to start with the brain. This is the part that holds the microcontroller inside. This is the battery here. And if you would ever have to replace it, there's some little pins you pull out and that's the battery. If you'd ever have to replace it. It has, the brains have a couple of two pins uh, ports. This one is for the on off switch. I don't know what that one's for. I think that was a future diagnostic kind of thing. And then we have a couple of three pin ports and a four pin and we don't have any four pin devices here so that's not for us. And then the plug, the, the port to charge the battery and we've got some more three pin ports which pretty much all this stuff there are three pin ports the gr nice thing about the way they've got the microcontroller for this is it doesn't matter what port you plug things into the way the software and the hardware interface it just reads you don't have to tell it i'm on port four i'm on port one i'm on port two you just plug it in uh, on the brain, the body of the brains, we have some places to connect. All these holes are places to connect pieces, parts to that we would use a variety of pins to hold things in place. We also have all of these squares, which can also mount things. So if you need to mount the servos. And the servos are designed nicely in that they can mount in multiple directions, multiple orientations, which is awesome. All of the parts that we code have two ports to plug into. That way you can daisy chain them again. The nice thing about this, the software and the microcontroller, it doesn't care where things are plugged in. It's going to recognize them and send the code to them. So we could literally just use one port and daisy chain, which means plug this into this and then this into that and then this into that um, to make things happen. So we've got some servos and the servos are neat because they can either be the directional 180 kind of servo or they can be a continuous rotation servo. And they are they are nice. They're pretty sturdy. We also have some LED eyes, some RGB LEDs that you code. We have a push button switch. We have an, an infrared sensor for distance. We have a speaker, and then we have wheels. Now, these gray parts are the connector parts that allow us to hook the wheels up to the servo. Or pulley, you can use them as pulleys or wheels. Um, we have some connectors. There's three of this size, and they actually do have a color on them. These are just black. So there's the small that are black. There are the mediums that are gray, and then the longer ones that are blue. Use what you need to get the distance where you're at, because again, we can just daisy chain all of the parts. We don't have to hook them into just number four or just number one. So there is the beginning of the parts that we uh, will be coding. Thank you. Talk more.